Amanda. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I hope you guys really liked my last video. I had a lot of fun making it. Today's video is going to be a lot more fun. I'm already a little tipsy, but as you can tell from the title, I'm doing a drunk get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my makeup and talking to you guys a little bit. I've already taken a few shots. Let's take some fucking more. If you guys have any alcohol or liquor and you're over 21, then you should probably be. I'm drinking tequila. I love tequila. It's my favorite alcohol. That was like my fifth shot. I think I'm going to take one more before I start my makeup routine and then throughout I'll take a couple more shots with you guys. Alright, cheers. I usually drink Frank 242, but I drink all of mine, so that was a big verbo. Comment down below what uh, like alcohol or what tequila is your favorite. If you haven't subscribed already, then click the subscribe button and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'm sweating because of the tequila, holy <laughs> Oh my god, I have a mirror down here too if you see me looking down. What I start with before I even do my makeup is I get a moisturizer. Usually with SPF, but it's nighttime right now. Don't put that in your neck. I'm like a beauty guru right now. <laughs> Whenever I do my makeup, I usually wear a, like a makeup belt. Like I'll put it around my waist as like, you know, like a tool belt that guys have. It's, I have a makeup belt, but I'm on the floor, so it's only on the floor. The okay, next step is going to be primer. That's just like a base. You guys do know. I need a new primer. <laughs> it's like, I'll use a different one. I usually use the Cover FX one because I have oily skin. So I use the Bare Mattifying one, but right now I'm using the Pure PUR 4 in 1 Correcting Primer. Okay, I'm gonna take one more shot. <laughs> my hands are so slippery, I almost dropped the bottle of Jose Cuervo. Oh my god. Cheers, guys. <laughs> and if you didn't know, that's simply lemonade with raspberry is like that. I also do um, put like eyelid primer on because I have oily skin, so I have oily eyelids. I am going to take my favorite foundation. This is going to be a more full coverage look, so I'm going to take my Hourglass Stick Foundation in the color One Beige. Usually um, during quarantine, obviously I'm not wearing any makeup, and on an everyday basis, I'll just wear like a CC cream or powder or something. But, okay, then I'm going to take. Hey, <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to take a Kabuki. I honestly don't know what brush is. Just gonna like buff it in. Don't forget to buff into your ears. So everyone thinks like your face is the same color. Even though it's like not. Honestly guys, you don't know how much work goes into makeup. I started wearing makeup in middle school, like kind of embarrassing. My mom hated it and I would always have to like sneak it. Okay, I think that looks pretty blended. I'm gonna take another shot. Honestly, and I'm not pouring it this time. I'm just gonna After foundation is concealer, it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. I honestly love NARS. I don't mind using Maybelline, but this one is so good because it's really creamy and easy to blend, so I really like it. If I ever have a daughter, I don't mind if she wears makeup. Maybe not too young. I don't know. Maybe they won't, she won't even be into makeup. We'll see. But that's like a big deal, I guess, for parents, letting your daughters wear makeup. Apparently, I don't know. I put concealer in to highlight these areas, like a lighter color under my eyes, on my nose, my chin. And then I'm gonna go in and take a little sponge or beauty blender. I'm gonna take another shot. Take another shot. Another shot! I'm gonna blend it out. I'm literally seeing stars because I'm so drunk. I was always a rebel in middle school. Like, I would never listen to my mom. Sorry, mom, I know you're watching this. If someone told me not to do something, I would go and do it. I was just like that type of person. I still am now, but obviously I'm way smarter with my decisions. So once I'm done uh, blending the concealer, I will take another sponge and take a translucent powder. This is called Huda Beauty, and it's in the color uh, Banana Bread. I just like put the powder under my eye to set it. Oh, I'm getting drunk. I take another shot. I'm, I'm so gonna down. be blacked out. And I, and the thing is, right now I'm filming this, and we're in quarantine, and we have nowhere to go, so I'm gonna be drunk in my apartment. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that bake for a little, and I'm gonna blast some fucking music and dance and get more drunk, and then I'm gonna come back probably blacked out and then finish the rest of my makeup. Give me like two minutes. Sorry, it's my favorite thing! <laughs> Sorry, mom!
It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Once that is done, um, I'm going to take some bronzer to bring some color back into my life because I know I look crazy right now. It's the Too Faced, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Oh, it looks really good. So now that I'm done with bronzer, I'm going to take my favorite blush. It's the Dior Brush. This is your blush. It's called Rouge. Color 999. Put some of my brush, and I'm gonna smile and like put like it on my cheek. Blush is my favorite. It makes you look youthful and like pretty and like cute and like like you're cute. So I just put a lot on my cheek and hope for the best. Okay, I'm so drunk and I need some music. I'm gonna go to nose contour. Honestly, this is like face tuning and makeup. <laughs>